Welcome back to the Lifestyles of the It Mom. We have another great video today, actually, and I'm super excited to do it. Um, and it's always like one of those um, brands that have a really good rep for a while, and then for a while they kind of like fall off the face of the earth for a little bit, and then they come back strong, and then vice versa. So it's like kind of like a bouncy ball and I don't know why I really I just I don't know why I think I love this brand and I love everything about the brand um is it my favorite brand no it's a brand that I love for very many things and um I think I think people should really like look into it and like maybe test a couple of pieces out here and there and if you don't want to really spend the money like don't but if you are willing to take a leap i would definitely recommend you doing it and that is dior now dior is like very um very ladylike i would call them right they're very cute they're very small they are very prim and proper it makes you want to feel like you need to go out for like tea sometimes when you're wearing a little dior but i don't see there's anything wrong with that because some of their stuff is very um edgy they're doing a lot of mattes and a lot of like great color combinations that can make you want to wear things other than feel like you're gonna go to an afternoon tape like at you know the Waldorf or Soria if they were still open or the Plaza Hotel but there's uh definitely something to say about Dior their quality and their their craftsmanship I feel are top notch and their customer service I couldn't tell you that I have found a customer service that's any better than Dior I mean and don't get me wrong I absolutely love Chanel and I love Louis and I think they're all phenomenal brands and I will continue to support their my bad habits but I, you cannot compare it to Dior and this video is not sponsored by the way this has nothing to do with anything this is literally trying to explain to you guys that I was actually pleasantly surprised now I've I'm not a major Dior shopper. I, I can say that I spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars in my lifetime in Dior. Like I've never really done that. Um, Dior was kind of like one of those brands where I knew that they would go on sale and I would walk in and I would just like, you know, check out what they've got or whatever. And sometimes I'll buy like an earring or a bracelet or something. And then sometimes I wouldn't even like, I wouldn't find anything that I liked, right? So that's kind of like, what I felt about Dior. It was like, oh, okay, it's a brand that goes on sale like Gucci did at the time. And it was like, oh, other than that, like, I didn't really go in there for anything else. It was kind of like they only had like those five bags and you're just like, ah, eh, you know, yeah, I don't really want to walk around with like a little Dior bag or like one of those big, I feel like I'm gonna go to tea or go to a garden party or get a really big hat or watch polo matches. Like, they're just not for me. But I don't know this last year I decided that um, I wanted to get branch out like I wanted to get a like a bag that was just a little different so my husband and I were talking and then I, I don't know I was like on Instagram about like oh I want to do something different I don't want to get the same things all the time I feel like I'm there's only so many Chanel bags you could have there's so many LV bags like I feel like the monogram was actually making me sick for a while and then I was like you know what I want to do I want to get something different and then I was on Instagram and I just saw this woman carrying this Dior bag this one in particular actually and I was like wow she's very pretty i wonder if i would like her so either way i walked into the dior store that weekend and i was like you know what let me just let me let me check this bag out All right and i fell in love i fell in love i didn't know what it was i didn't know if it was the color i don't know if it was the bag i don't know if it was just the you know the salesman i think he was fantastic i mean so today he's still my salesman um i don't know what it was but it was like the bag was like screaming and saying please buy me and i was just like okay let's 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 add you to my collection i think you're beautiful and um 
and that's what I did. I mean, I've had the bag for about six months now. I haven't actually really worn her um, very much because it's New York and it rains a lot. Um, but the the I think I've worn her like five times. Um, and each time, I just, I can't stop looking at her. I think she's just gorgeous, and I just have to stare at her all day. Um, she has cute little feet at the bottom, so you can keep her nice and clean. Um, there's, the older models used to have the zipper. And this one has the, um, like, little pocket thingy over it. And, of course, I have an organizer in them. I have organizers in most of my bags because I like to keep it's I like it to keep it clean it's like one of my you know retentive things if you're gonna spend this much money on a handbag you need to keep the structure the quality um you need to keep it clean and hands down I still till today feel really adamant about organizers um just even if it's not for organization just to keep your bag clean I totally recommend it so I went ahead and I bought the bag and I like I said I wore it for about five times um, I didn't really wear it that much but from all the times that I have worn it I have absolutely enjoy it do I really like this part of the bag probably not it's kind of a pain in the neck if you're gonna put your phone in here and if it's like ringing or whatever um, to constantly have to get it out I mean I have an Apple watch when I'm in the city or like working or whatever I'll use my Apple watch at home I don't because really was just kind of like annoying the crap out of me you know having to like now my phone's buzzing my 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 watch is buzzing it was like my work phone is my cell phone right now so I was like ah no so I actually just stopped using my Apple watch for a bit but um yeah so if I don't have if I um keep my phone in here I, I just stick to my uh, Apple watch to communicate so because this kind of a nuisance but I kind of wanted to show you what could fit into this bag. Um, the organizer to get in and out of this bag is a little complicated. So we're going to leave her in. And we're going to actually stuff her with um, without the organizer. So here is my iPhone 11. Um, the 11 Pro. She actually fits in here perfectly fine. See? She's in there. Um, my card case. I'm using the Louis Vuitton one for right now for this video um my six ring key holder some perfume a hair tie a lipstick And my sunglasses for most of the part I would actually be wearing my sunglasses but for this video we will put my sunglasses in the bag so bag is closed it's not stretching it's actually perfectly fine so this bag drop length is way longer it's about the same height of a Chanel walk so if you know about the Chanel walks you'll know that the strap length is much longer so as you can see as crossbody it is on my butt and when it is not crossbody it is even further down my butt so as I said this bag is quite long and um, I still think it's a pretty good height I mean a pretty good length if you don't mind the Chanel walks I don't have a problem with the length of this bag actually um would I have preferred it a little shorter yes maybe maybe not if you're wearing like a nice little puffer like fluffy fur coat this is probably perfectly fine for you I like I said I'm about I didn't say it in this video but I said it in one of my videos that I'm five four and three quarters so I round up I'm five five and she is a little long so if you're about 5'1 I would definitely like maybe consider getting like a guitar strap or something if you want to like edge it up a little bit and you don't want it to be so girly like this one because this one has like the metal exterior around the chain I mean but otherwise I think she's a fantastic bag I think everybody should add her in her collection if you have the funds or the means to do so even if it's just to be girly for a day if you just want to go for brunch with your friends if you just want to go to a wedding or a garden party 
or for heaven's sakes if you just want to go for a cocktail um at the waldorf restorio when it opens up i really recommend buying something like this i i don't see anything wrong with her i think you were they're very understated because people associate them as like a brand that goes on sale or stuff like that they don't put their bags on sale they just put their shoes and their jewelry and their um like clothing and stuff like that they don't put their bags on sale but um they do go on sale for for whatever extensive purposes you probably find them at the outlets um in like london and stuff like that they do have outlets but uh other than that they um i feel like their quality is fantastic if you want to buy something from dior just to try them out their jewelry is probably one of their best things that i've ever like bought ever their costume jewelry is to die for even their fine jewelry like this necklace that i'm wearing right now is from their fine jewelry and i absolutely adore it I absolutely adore this necklace and I also have some of their earrings in my ears right now um, from their fine jewelry collection I think they're fantastic I think if you are in the market to buy um, jewelry or you have like I said the means to do so you definitely should try them out I think their jewelry is great their costume jewelry ranges from like three to five hundred dollars depending what it is um, some pieces are obviously a little bit more their fine jewelry is you know it's I mean if you like Van Cleef, you like Cartier, you like Tiffany, I feel like they're all within the same price ranges anyway. So if, like, you can get it, why not? I really, I don't see anything wrong with it. I think their stuff is really great. Um, and I definitely would recommend it if that's something that you can do. And if you guys wanted me to do a jewelry video on Dior, oh my god, I would love to do that for you guys. I love, love, love costume jewelry. I do have lots of pieces, but I also have lots of fine jewelry. I like to have, or... I like to have an array of jewelry designs, not just one or two brands. I like to collect different things. So if hey, if you want to want me, you want to see a video like that, I would love to do it for you. But um, yeah. So if you guys are um thinking about it, you didn't see enough videos on it. You're thinking, hey, you know, should I should I take the plunge? I really do think that the Dior bag is a great fit for you, for anybody who um. He just wants to elevate an outfit, just dress it up, just be a little bit more fancy. Or, you know, just just be cool. Just be cool. Just do it. Just do it. If you haven't already done so and you like these types of videos, please subscribe. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Lux community. Welcome to what I love. Welcome to moms who work, who hide in their living rooms when their children are for a ride napping with their dad in the car. Join me enjoy the quarantining video times that we're all having and if you guys have a video recommendation please let me know like i said i love looks but i do other things as well i do makeup i like to do makeup um i like fine jewelry i like costume jewelry and i am a shoe addict i have a serious shoe collection probably probably ranging in the 300 plus shoes by now um and they range from all different designers from high end to lower end um but i'm a really big shoe shoe addict if you have any questions please comment below thanks again and have a great one bye